Hi guys, here I'm Usina in today's video I'm gonna learn how to use probably the best library for controlling uh, new pixel matrices, which is called panel.h. First, let's see how can we install the library. We go to sketch, include library, manage libraries. Uh, we have to wait until it loads all the libraries, then make sure here is set to all and also there. And type net pixel matrix. And here it is. Since I have the library already installed, I cannot click the button, but I will be right here, install the latest version. Currently we are in the version 1.1.0. Another way to install the library is by going to our GitHub account. We're gonna leave the link below in the description. So you can go directly to our GitHub repository, then select the version you wanna download and download it. Then go to the Arduino IDE, sketch, include library, Add a zip and select and let, let, let's dive into a simple example. Firstly, we uh, include the library, uh, we set the constructor, we call the begin and here we're just calling uh, a function from the API, uh, which is test layout. So let's have a look at the constructor. The constructor has several arguments. The first three ones are pretty straightforward. The first one is the pin where is connected the matrix, the neo pixel matrix, then the width and height of the neo pixel matrix. The other ones are quite more complicated. The layout and the first LED. So the layout. There are two different layouts. The lane layout and the serpentine layout. We can know which layout is our NeoPixel matrix just by going to the Arduino window, then go to examples, panel.h, and test layout. Here it is. We can load this, um, this simple code to, to the um, to our Arduino. Just make sure that the width, height, and lead pin is right. Uh, serpentine and right, all those arguments uh, don't need to be right specified. Uh, it doesn't need to be correct, it's just um, a guess, let's say. Uh, since test layout doesn't care about those arguments. Then, um, watching what is the behavior of the screen, we can see here how what path has this screen and what's the path of the other screen. So the next argument is the first LED. Uh, that's pretty simple. Let's see which LED um, lights up uh, first and if it's the right one we type here right and if it's the left one the argument is left just that simple and this is another example with the serpentine layout but it's actually the same as you can notice it's just the first lead that lights up indicates if it's left or right so next the rotation the rotation is pretty simple and uh, by default you should put it to zero and uh, just change it if, the, if you want to rotate the screen. Supports 0, 90 and 270 degrees and you can also change it uh, after calling the constructor by using the function rotate matrix. The difference compared with processing is that here we use degrees instead of radians. The getters are used when you need to know when a specific value 
that is not possible to change normally that is not allowed to change normally and uh, for example we have get pixel uh, sorry get width height and rotation and matrix rotation we can also get the style and the initial side which was the left or right side in the next video we're going to learn some interesting stuff such as set pixel get pixel fill clear line and rect see you on the next video